you can see my house is a train wreck. But also, and that's just her like Christmas stuff. And then while I was standing there, like literally the doorbell rang with the FedEx man dropping more stuff off. And then it overflows into the garage. And I know we've mentioned this before and I know y'all said that your wife's do the same thing to you. So this garage is a train wreck it's right like now. A whole table full of stuff that goes back on the car and then all her junk and then a uh, little stuff that's been in the house and just kind of the wing is a catch-all right now uh, so it's been a train wreck but it is uh, thanksgiving night and thanksgiving night always sucks ever since when i was uh, little thanksgiving night always sucks because it's like the whole world is just like lazy and dead when i was younger like 18 19 you try to get together with your friends and go out and do something and everything's closed you know people black friday shopping but when you're 18 19 you're not going black friday shopping necessarily you're trying to go you know i remember when we were younger we looked all over wilmington everything was closed except for one little tiny pool hall that was up in the corner i was probably like 19 or so and we went there um, until like 11 o'clock or so but um i figured i would come out here it's like after 10 o'clock i'm just now coming out here kind of been laying in bed and just uh um figured i'd come out here and let's put together these Pro Charger parts. Let's put them on here and see what it looks like up against the whole unit. And then maybe just straighten up some stuff and just kill some time. Try to tire my brain out before I lay down and try to go to sleep because uh, right now it's not sleeping time. Let's put this together. So as you've seen in our last video, this thing uh, turned out pretty good. I'm happy with this. That's glue for me putting it on a uh, paper towel. So I got to get that off with some Windex or something. You don't want to really, I don't really want to use like paint thinner or nothing harsh. Uh, the bracket's pretty boring. Um, the bracket actually turned out, it's really orange peely. Uh, that's a mistake that I touched it and made uh, before we took it to baking. Um, it's, it's glossy almost, kind of. Um, you know, it, it almost matches. I mean, the, the pulley is more satin than the bracket. See that? So it's just, uh, it's not quite the uh, sheen that I wanted. Uh, this is more accurate. So what I'm pretty sure is that this was put on way lighter. That was put on way heavier. So obviously putting it on heavier for whatever reason has glossed it out. I mean, look at that. That's not a match at all. Okay. You can see the shininess up there but we had a few good so points go back and hit that other video uh the last one where we powder coated these parts uh one piece of advice somebody said they work for a powder coat company and you should always heat up your parts um to at least 100 degrees before you powder coat it so i guess you have to get the part hot powder coat it hit it with a temperature gun get part hot hit it with temperature gun then spray your powder then put it in the oven. So that, that's a lot for me, a DIY person, that's a lot. Um, and then somebody else said, man, I can't remember the other piece of advice. Go back and check the last video on where we powder coated these parts and uh, read through the comments because there's been, been a couple helpful pointers in there. But for DIY, I'm perfectly cool with this. We don't have to match a sheen to anything because you know, as you know, your motor is covered in all sorts of different sheens whether it's the plastic valve covers or, you know, their, their shininess and then black fittings or, you know, closer to satin or gloss. Like there's all kinds of different sheens mixed in your engine bay with your pop to hunt. So we're not really worried about that and no parts really go up to each other besides the, um, this pipe right here it does go like this. Okay. So you can tell the sheens off like that. And the, I mean, that's literally the same powder coat. It's just this piece right here went on beautiful compared to you know these went a little thicker uh, but they were all baked for i believe the same temperature that was the only one that was baked a little longer but this one gets separated with a uh, actual rubber uh, cup so we're going to get all this thrown back together real fast just throw these back on just so we don't got so much parts scattered out and have to figure out you know all of the uh, bolts where they go later while this is still at least a week fresh on my memory you know like, here's a good example your fuel rails okay they're they're like a gloss so up against that, you know, that looks perfectly fine, you know, against, you know, then the satin. It's just, there's all different sheens. I mean, y'all know what I'm talking about. So let's get this thrown back together. All right. So I think that looks uh, pretty good, man. I like that. It uh, looks good. And then with the with the um, intake pipe on it, you know, look like that. I think that's that's pretty, uh, pretty good versus that dull stuff. You know, I always hate painting or doing anything to them, honestly, but, you know, but 
I mean, it's better than the, the other stuff. You know, I wish both the machines matched, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. And then, like I said, you're going to have the rubber coupling that goes between it. Uh, so let's chunk these back on here just so all these bolts are not lost and, you know, let it we'll let it be at that until we get the motor back i decided to leave this plate alone and not powder coat this plate because this is like a uh, billet aluminum and it's got all the uh designs cut into it and so i figured that we'll just leave that alone it's not like i'm getting crazy and going through and coating everything you know we're not painting the intercooler or nothing like that i just decided that these pieces like this and that bracket that were just really that dull looking aluminum that we would just go through here and clean this stuff up so there's what that looks like all assembled and put together so that's not it's not that bad i had thought about doing this but i said my luck this has got bearings in it even though more than likely the bearings are only in the pulley and you could take the pulley off so more than likely there would be no bearings in here because it's probably just a spring but my luck baking it would mess up something this is a very expensive tensioner it's not like it's 55 dollars at local advanced auto parts so i said no i'll just leave it alone if it bothers me i'll rattle can it um but I just, I don't, I don't care because like I said, we're still going to have aluminum mixed in. You know, I didn't even do the standoffs, but I think I might actually paint this uh, rattle can, the standoffs whenever we go to uh, put it, put it back in the car. But just wanted to knock a little bit of parts out, you know, not a ton of them. So I think it turned out good. I mean, for DIY and that Harbor Freight powder coat is not expensive at all. Um, so, I mean, you, you just... You can't go wrong. It's better than base coat, clear coat, better than spray paint. Uh, you can't you can't really go wrong about it. But I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I uh, hope everybody has a good, you know, weekend having these four days off. It's going to drive me crazy. I'm probably going to have to go into work. I don't know if I can just take all this time off. But maybe we'll get this thing back together. Uh, update on the motor. I checked actually today while I was bored on the couch. And they have not made any grounds on the motor. Yes, we have an LS Nasty shirt on. This was like three years ago or two years ago, whenever I first got into uh, really heavy into the drag racing and I bought it for one of the contests. And then I figured out how the contests actually work and how they get drug out. And the closer you get to the end, the more injuries and how he just keeps on uh, dragging them out until he's made, you know, $40,000 on the giveaway car. And uh, I will know, I will never buy another, uh, t-shirt for any of that kind of crap again so got me once when i was uneducated won't get me again um yeah no progress on the motor i think it's in line to be assembled though but uh it's just uh I, you know i'm in line i'm in line so i don't get no special treatment don't get a jump nobody or nothing like that so i'm in line with all the other motors so hoping that it gets thrown together here soon i don't want to pay the bill i don't want to see that invoice uh, we will pay the mill immediately and we will go pick the motor up immediately. Um, but, you know, I just, I'm dreading paying that large repair bill, but I am uh, ready to get it back in the car because things are getting pretty boring. So besides just busting my tail at work, trying to get ahead, it's like then on the weekends you take off um, to separate yourself from the shop so you don't experience burnout. But uh, then it's just there's really nothing to do on here besides, you know, just fiddle fart around fabbing up the wishbone I'm just kind of like, uh, we'll get it when it's at the when it's at the shop on the lift But that's understandable man. Nobody wants to lay underneath this car and throw this wishbone in this car in this garage When Mike has lift at shop, we could throw it up there I've already got it in my head how that wishbone over there is gonna go in this car when we take the panwar bar out But we just got to make it happen and get it to the shop um, I need to do some stuff on the parachute in the back of the car. Uh, I want to mess with that but it's so far back in the garage right now. It's up on crib blocks. So it's like, I don't want to take it off the blocks. I feel like as soon as I take it off the blocks, TKM's just going to be like, bam, like done with the motor, call me up. And then I got to lift it back up and put it back on blocks again. So I've been itching to cut the floors out in the car or something, but I've been just staying busy at work, staying focused. I'm like a drug addict. I'm trying to stay away from this thing. Um, that way I don't cut it up. But again, hope everybody had a good, uh, or has a good weekend. And uh, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, y'all.